for what shall it profit a man, if he gains the whole world, but loses his own soul? My husband, what is going on? What do you mean? Why are you standing outside here looking so worried? My dear, I have been thinking about a lot of things lately. If I may ask, what are you thinking about? Send message to my children, I would like to see all of them this coming weekend. <coughs> are you okay? <coughs> you seem very weak. Don't worry about me, just make sure you do as I said. Okay, I will. <coughs> Please, let's go inside. The weather here is cold, the season is changing to a cold one, and it's not good for your health. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Are you sure you're okay? You've been coughing a lot since today. Should I get you some water to drink? Never mind. Just take me to the bedroom. I would like to take a rest. No problem. <coughs> you are still coughing? Are you sure? I shouldn't call the hospital and book appointment for them to see you. No, no. It's not necessary. Thank you for bringing me to my bed. It's nothing, my dear. No need of calling the doctors. It's just ordinary cough. It will go away. If you say so, no problem. I'm just worried for you, that's all. No need to worry. Do you need me to get for you anything? I'm completely at your service. No, I'm fine. I will go get you some water from the kitchen. It will help with that cough. Go ahead. <coughs> Give me a glass of water for drinking. Okay, madam. He has been coughing a lot. Maybe I should just call our family doctor and complain to him about this cough. I don't think it's ordinary cough like he said. Here is the glass of water, Ma. Thanks. You are a good girl. I will just take it to Daddy in his room to drink. I don't think he is doing so well. How is Sir doing? I hope he's getting better. I don't even know what to say at this point, because he's been coughing non-stop. Should we take him to the hospital? Yes, I think we should. But he's refusing to go. I'm just so confused. I suggest we don't listen to him. If he's not doing well, then it means he needs medical attention. You think so? Yes. Maybe you are right. Let me take this water to him first, then I will call the hospital right away. Oh Lord, let nothing happen to my boss, he is such a good man. Here. Drink this water, it will help. Thank you. I will be right back. Okay, but have you called the children? Oh, I totally forgot. Let me call them for you immediately. But why does he want to see all of his children? Maybe I should tell them their father is not feeling too well. Let me call my first son, then my first daughter. Once I get through to them, I will tell them to inform others. I'm late for my flight. Who's calling? Oh, my mom is calling. Maybe she's calling to wish me a safe trip. Hello, mom. How are you and father doing? What? My father is not doing well, and he has asked you to call all of us his children. Really? I hope he's okay, mom. Don't worry, mom. I will inform others, and they will be there straight away. We'll see you in a jiffy. I guess I will have to cancel my flight. Hello, mom. I'm fine, and you? Yes, I'm at the office. Father is not feeling all right, and he has asked you to call us home. Okay, mom. I will be there once I finish from work. Bye. This people should come here already. Let's begin this conference. I need to go see my father. I don't even know where I'm driving to. Maybe I should just find a nice hotel and chill out there for some time. Who's calling? My big brother is calling. He better not be sending me for any useless errand for the office. I'm not cut out for that this morning. I only want to enjoy myself today. Hello big brother good morning. Why are you asking me where I am? I'm somewhere. What? You are at our father's place. And he is not doing well. Is that so? Okay then. I will be there once I finish what I'm doing here. Does it mean father is about to die? Maybe. That's some good news. I have to relax myself here. After all, it's one life to live, and I must leave it to the fullest. Nobody knows when we will be leaving this world, and also nobody really knows what happens after death. 
or what we will be doing after we have left this world. I doubt if there will be drinks in the other side of life, or even this type of enjoyments we have here, so why not? I must enjoy myself to the fullest now that I am still alive and breathing. Barman, come over here, I need some drinks. Okay, I'm coming. I'm enjoying this music, it's so sweet. I want more drinks. Don't you people have beautiful girls in this bar? You are boring to me. Next time, I won't come here again. Yes of course, we have a lot of beautiful girls. I will call them for you so you make a choice. But you have to pay very heavily. Money is not my problem. Don't you know who I am? I am the second son of the famous man in this community. So you see, I'm rich. My father is very rich. He has a lot of money. He is going to die soon. And once he dies, all his wealth and money will become mine. I'm a big boy in this town. What? So your father is sick and about to die? And you people will be sharing his properties soon. Oh Vicky, you are here, thank goodness. What is it Jack? I have a very rich customer for you. Where is he? He's over there. Make sure you treat him well, so he can come back for more next time. Of course I will treat him very well, don't you trust me again? I trust you very well Vicky, you are the best among others. I feel flattered, I hope he can pay me well. He has a lot of money, he is the son of the famous man, so he is very rich. Wow. Thanks for telling me. Now go and meet him before someone else gets there first. Okay, I'm going. Hello handsome, can I join you? Wow, what a beauty you are. Yes, you can join me. Why can't I kiss you? That's why you are here. Not here, it's too exposed. Let's go inside. Okay then, let's go inside. <laughs> they have gone inside for some real action. Vicky is good at what she does. Shh. No kissing. Why not? That is how I do mine, no kissing. Else, I leave this place for you. Okay then. Whatever. Mother. My son you are here, welcome. Where's my father? I want to see him. He's in his room. We have to take him to the hospital immediately. Okay. Father. <coughs> father you're not doing so well, why didn't you call me earlier so I can take you to the hospital? I'm taking you to the hospital immediately, I already called the hospital on my way here. <coughs> Sorry father, you have to get up, let me take you to the hospital. My son, do you think it's necessary? I asked your mom to call all of you here, because I want to see you people, there's something very important I would like to share with you all. Father, I'm here now. What about your siblings? Aren't they coming? They should be on their way here, they will be here soon. I think it's time for me to join my ancestors, I have run my own race, it's time to let go. I can feel it. What? Father stop talking like that. You have to stand up let me take you to the hospital. Whatever you want to tell us can wait till when you are better. Your health is more important right now. <coughs> Anthony my son. Yes father. Before others arrive here, I would like to have a word with you first, because you are my first son and the eldest. Please give me your attention. I'm listening father. I want you to make me a promise. Promise me that when I'm gone, you will lead this family with love, peace and harmony, no matter what happens after I am no longer here. Please make sure you take good care of the family that I have left behind in your care. Lead with maturity. Always ask God Almighty for wisdom, because the task ahead is not going to be very easy. But with God by your side, you will prevail. Do not allow a third party to come in between you and your siblings for any reason, else they lead you people astray. This life is a journey, it's like a race. There is a time to start and there is a time to stop. That is why we born today, then tomorrow we are gone, I made so much money while I ran my own race, I made a lot of good friends too and enemies as well, because no matter how good you are, 
you will still find out that there are people who don't like you because you are successful and they are not. I have a lot of assets scattered all over different locations in the country. I acquired landed properties, buildings, companies, businesses, cars, you name them. But it might interest you that while I was doing all that, I never neglected worshipping my God, the one who made heaven and earth, the one who created me, the one who gave me all these wealth, the one who made me what I am today. It wasn't by my powers or strength, it was all made possible because of his presence in my life. I'm happy to be going back to him, I'm happy I charted a good course here on earth, I'm handing over the baton to you, make sure you handle it well, now that I'm about to go, I'm leaving with nothing, I came with nothing, and I'm leaving with nothing. My wealth, assets, children etc, is not going to follow me when I eventually leave this world, it's all vanity upon vanity. Just as the word of God said in Ecclesiastes 1, 2-8, Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, vanity of vanities. All is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor which he taketh under the sun? One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. Wow! Father, your words are so deep, it sends chills down my spine. But Father let me take you to the hospital please. Let me go and see my mother. Where is this boy? Why hasn't Peter reached here yet? It's been long I called him. Let me call him again. Tony, the ambulance is here. We have to move him immediately to the hospital. Okay, but why hasn't any of my siblings reached here yet? Not even one person. I need their help to move our father to the hospital. How can he give birth to seven children, and it's only one that came to be with him at a time like this? It's not fair. I don't know, maybe they are busy. Wow! Girl you are so sweet. I enjoyed myself. Now, pay me my money, let me go. I have other customers waiting for me. Who's calling? It's my big brother. Hello. I told you I will come when I finish with what I'm doing. Okay. I will be there soon. My money. That's your money, I need to leave. He better be dead before I get there, maybe he's dead already, because the way my brother was sounding shows things are really bad, his voice was frightening, anyways, let me get there first. Who's home? Why is everywhere so quiet? You are here, welcome. Where is everybody? They have all gone to the hospital, your father was rushed to the hospital not long ago. Oh that means he's not yet dead. What, is this one praying for his father to die? No wonder he didn't come since they've been calling him. I will go and meet them there. Okay. Big brother, where is father? Catherine you are here now. Why are you just coming? We've been calling you. I was busy at the office. We just concluded our conference meetings. That's why. Couldn't you take permission from them? I have to cancel my flight. Father's life is more important than some conference meeting. Don't you think so? You are right, I did not know things were this bad. So can I see him? I'm waiting for the doctors to finish, then we can go see him. Big brother, I think the doctors are here now. Oh doctor, how is he? I'm very sorry, but we lost him, we did all we could to resuscitate him, but he kept coughing until he wasn't able to breathe enough oxygen into his system. I think he had a respiratory failure and a cardiac arrest. What? 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 No, no, no. This cannot happen, I want to see my father, don't tell me he's dead, because I'm not going to take it. No no no. Father why, why didn't you wait for me to come see you one more time, my heart is broken into pieces, so I'm never going to be able to talk to father ever again, I should have cancelled the conference and reschedule it for another day, if only I knew he was actually going to leave us today, I would have made haste while the sun was still shining. Oh father, why did you leave us your children and grandchildren, who are we going to call father again? Hello big brother. Peter. What are you doing here, I thought you never going to come, I thought you don't want to come and see your father. But what is going on here? Where's father? Is he still alive? I want to see him, can I see him? Don't near me because you won't like what I will do to you, you good for nothing brother. I know you must be very happy that father is no more now, I'm sure you are happy now. What? Father is dead? How?
When? When did it happen? Yes. This is the news I have been waiting for. I can't wait to lay my hands on all his properties. The stumbling block has been moved out of my way finally. Now I can enjoy wealth and money as I wish without accountability to anyone. I have to hurry up. Our driver is waiting for me at the car park. I need to reach the hospital as quickly as possible. I heard father was rushed to the hospital. Who knows where our father is? How can I find out which room he is in? Let me ask the nurse. She might be of great help. Is that Peter over there? Oh, it's him. Let me ask him. He should know. Peter. Joseph. You are here. Why is your face like that? Where's father? Do you know which room he's in? I want to see him. Joseph. Our father is no more. He is gone. He has left us in this cruel world. What? Oh no! That can't be. Peter. Tell me it's all a joke please. I want to see my father. I need to be smart at this point. Father has seven children, there's no way they will allow only me to take his properties, or at least majority of his properties, I have to start making plans now that every of them is devastated and still on moaning mood, I don't have to wait, delay can be very dangerous, besides, another person might play smarter if I delay, I need to start collecting the original documents of all his properties, because it is only the person who has the original document will be the rightful owner of it. Now that my big brother has gone out, I will go to Sister Catherine Rowe talk to her about the documents. She should know more about father's assets. I will ask her. Sister, I'm heartbroken. Me too. You know sister, I wanted to ask you about something. What is it? Go ahead. Do you know where the original documents of father's properties are? What? What sort of nonsense question are you asking me? Father just died, and all you care about is his properties, where is your conscience, do you have conscience at all, and if I may ask, what do you want to do with the documents of father's properties? It's nothing, I was just asking to make sure it's in a safe place. Please leave me alone, I don't have time for your shenanigans. I guess it won't be easy, I misthink of something, there has to be a way, 